The Neurosphere assay is a useful in vitro technique for studying the inherent properties of neurostem progenitor cells, including their proliferation, self-renewal and multipotency in both physiological and pathological contexts. Due to its three-dimensional structure, this technique is a powerful tool for studying adult neurogenesis. It is also useful for culturing and obtaining higher yields of neurostem progenitor cells. This new sphere say can be applied to the study of brain disorders, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases or multiple sclerosis. Neurospheres can also be obtained from other brain regions or systems, such as adipose tissue or the gut. Demonstrating the procedure with Philippa Ribeiro will be Rita Suarez, a PhD student in my group. To harvest postnatal day 1-3 to three mouse brains, hold the ventral part of the body at the base of the head, and use small pointed scissors to make a midline incision in the skin over the entire length of the head to expose the skull. Make a longitudinal incision at the base of the skull and continue cutting along the sagittal suture at as shallow an angle as possible to avoid damaging the brain structures. Use curved forceps to peel the skull to the sides to expose the brain and slide a small spatula under the brain to cut the cranial nerves and blood vessels that are connected to the base of the brain. Place the brain into a petri dish of cold HBSS supplemented with antibiotics and place the dish under a dissecting microscope at low magnification. Position the brain on its dorsal surface. While holding the brain by the cerebellum, use fine forceps to remove the meninges from the ventral...